Well, let's go to Lagos now and take some questions. I believe they're also trying to uh, get in touch with guests we have in Bayelsa. Chamberlain? Well, yes, indeed. We just want to find out from them. We'll try the APC, but no response yet. So uh, we have uh, Mr. Jonathan Obuibite, who is the Commissioner for Education, but he's the uh, Director of Media and Publicity for the PDB Campaign Organization. Good morning, Mr. Obuibite, and thank you for joining us on the line from Yenegoa. Could you tell us, because this is, that was supposed to be a meeting to sensitize the people to ensure that they are ready for the elections, but... From the images we saw there, the people turned it upside down. What happened? Well, uh, you may not be totally correct when you say the people turned it upside down. It's a particular political party that turned it upside down. And that is what we have been complaining and talking about, engaging the security agencies, engaging INEC and other uh, persons that were involved in the election. The APC in Biasa State is a different APC with the one you have in every other state. The APC in Biasa State are uh, a conglomerate of persons that are truly believers of violence. Like the issue that was being raised and that, that opera happened there was the issue that happened in Nimbi Basambi, where on the eve of the election, a community was sacked. And as I speak to you today, people are still IDPs in Nimbi Ubulmambi till today. And that is why concerned persons are saying, what will the INEC not the security agencies do to prevent that kind of incident again going into a major election like this? That was a national election. We are talking about a governorship election. And the APC in Bayelsa is not interested in election. They are only interested in violence. And you saw it happen there. Then it's a future barrister that caused the entire opera that ended that very fruitful meeting. He's a member of the APC and is from that community. But and I, that is why he is trying to defend what happened in that community. I thought that, that uh, if I could jump in, I thought that part of the issues that was raised had to do with security of the materials and ensuring that INEC controls security agencies when they are assigned for those elections. Wasn't that also part of the issues that were raised that they were trying to address? That, that, that is the issue because the security of the materials, when materials went into the paper assembly, those materials were hijacked. And the adult uh, staff were taken to a particular place and they wrote results. And that is why it's obvious. The entire world is aware of that. And that is why that person that spoke is trying to call on the attention of the security agencies at INEC to ensure that they don't allow that to happen. Those persons that their lives were in danger were the adult staff working for INEC. They are not working for any other party. But that happened to them. Till today, nobody was prosecuted. Till today, no action has been taken. Rather, somebody is talking about victory in court. So what we want as a party, the PDP and other parties, is that we want a level playing field. We also want the security agencies to be up to their own duties and ensure that they are political, ensure that they make sure they provide security for all bias not a political party, all, right. all bias uh, and ensure that things are done the right way. And that is what we're talking about. Okay. And I want to say this, that will be the major challenge of this forthcoming election. Because the APC is only preparing for violence and how they are going to kill and maim people and write results and say go to court. Uh, Mr. Obu, I, I, I'd like us to be at least, you know, careful of the statements we make. Of course, we'll get, you know, the side of the other party. But then I'd like to... Uh, Put this to you. The conduct or the success of this election is largely dependent on the conduct of political parties in Bielsa State. So I'd like to know what kind of conversation do you have with your members, agents, I mean, behind the scenes, such that, I mean, we don't have a repeat of violence in Bielsa State. What kind of conversations do you hold with them? Well, not just that we're conversing or talking to them or engaging them. They are prepared to ensure that they do the needful, do the right things, and allow peace to reign. Our party is not known for violence. Our party is not known for... In Bielsa, you ask anybody, our party is not known for violence. And I assure you, every member of the PDP will behave themselves according to the rules. And that has been our character. That has been our character. And that is why we're complaining. We are complaining because the last time it happened and nothing was done. And now again, we are going into another election 28 days from now. And nothing concrete has been done. We want to ensure that the IDPs that we have in the neighborhood of Bumabri are taken to their own community so that they can stay there 
and if possible, vote for whoever they want to vote for. So those are the things we are talking about. So as a party, we want to assure the world that we will ensure that all members and supporters of our party play by the rules. And that is why we are the people complaining. Okay. And we also want to employ the APC to please allow people's votes to count. They should desist from chasing people, killing people, maiming people, and write the results. Okay, all right. And the world will know. All right, Mr. Obwebite. Mr. Obwebite, thank you. Uh, unfortunately, we are not able to get through to APC, even though we made uh, several efforts. But from what you said earlier, are you in any way indicting INEC in this process? No, 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 not totally. But in particular, the, the, the last election, the INEC commissioner, they read, and they said, compromised. Because the, the, one, of the, one of the persons that talked in that, that caused the, the problem in that meeting, was the same person he, he accompanied to that community, he even rode from the same in the same car with him. You see, so for I let know for the characters of persons that they have, especially the rank, those are the issues we are talking about. And All right, I'm happy that this is an election that other ranks will be deployed from other states to come and work here in Biosa State. All right, Mr. Bobby, say we trust I let and we know I let will deliver, but there are some characters that we do not have confidence in, and I have mentioned that on the rank. All right, we'll follow up on this matter and get both to a conversation at a later date. But uh, thank you very much indeed for speaking to us, Mr. Jonathan Abuibute, the uh, DG uh, campaign of media and publicity of the PDP campaign organization. Mark, Well, I'm sure that, um, well, Mr. Saze Uzi would have um, perhaps a response or two to all that he said. He seems to have, you know, a lot of confidence in INEC uh, that you'll be able to carry out the uh, the mission, you know, as stipulated in your mandate. However, there are also fears that perhaps officials of INEC could be compromised. Do you have any measures in place to ensure that that doesn't happen? First of all, let me just quickly point out that um, some of the allegations he's making are, are, are new against the person of the wreck is, is a bit uh, new. That was never raised at the stakeholders meeting. The PDP uh, um, representative did speak. The government candidate was there initially. They did speak. Uh, they didn't raise that, and I'm sure they'll have an address. But one or two uh, persons, uh, one person actually did talk about uh, the some officials of the uh, commission and said, look, we'll give you some assurances. And as the DG did say, we had told them that, look, other, there will be at least two, three national commissioners who will be there to supervise, to monitor and supervise things. There will be other resident electoral commissioners deployed from other states to actually superintend the process. So one person cannot, not even the chairman of INEC, can really influence anything that will go on on that, on that day. We, we, if you have objections to anybody, it, it's good to point it out to us and it will be investigated. In the particular community, I, my understanding is that, that, that the matters went to court and quite a number of the allegations made were found to be unfounded or were, were not proven. But having said that, if there are allegations against specific officials, of, so don't make them of a general nature or this person is compromised. Give us facts, things that we can verify, and certain things will be done. There are allegations that some staff in the, in the, in the, in the, in the office have been, have been there for too long and they're too familiar with certain politicians. Um, we, we, the chairman had a meeting with staff, gave a warning to everybody, and said, look, we're watching you. And if there's any proven allegation against you, or prima facie, it doesn't even have to be proven at that stage. Once we found that there's some uh, truth in that, then things will be, will, will be done administratively, you'll be dealt with, and um, if it involves a criminal offence, then you'll be prosecuted. And we've always cooperated with security agencies in that regard. So the RELT Act was read to, 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 the, to the permanent staff. And in the training of the ad hoc staff, it was made clear that, look, we want people who are impartial, who have integrity, and um, if there is any doubt as to the integrity of any of the officials, then something immediately has to be done. We have the in Accidents Contact Centre, even up to election day, if there's any untoward thing going on, get in touch with Abuja or get in touch with the centre. It was connected to Abuja and our monitors on ground would follow up on that. We are determined to, 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 to bring confidence into the, into the process and say, look, we don't have any specific party or candidates. As long as the process is integrity of that process, let the Biosans choose their leaders, the votes that will count. Mm. It's certainly a fine place to leave it. And I'm sure that a lot of people will be looking forward to the measures you continue to put in place as the day approaches. 28 days. I taste the Bayelsa elections. Oluwale Osaze Uzi, thank you so much for coming on thank Sunrise City this morning. He's a director of voter education and publicity at INEC.